In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a high converting Shopify product page. Let's get started. On your Shopify store, click on products on the left menu. Before designing your product page, it's important that you add all of your products into your store and make sure that you provide all the necessary info about your product. Most importantly, you need to focus on your product description, images, and pricing. Apart from that, make sure to have a look at the meta fields section. I will show you how to use these meta fields on your product page. I will mention my product materials and care instructions on this field as I am going to use it on my product page. All right, now I will click on this little eye icon here, which will take me to the Shopify product page template. Here, I can customize the entire look and feel of this store. Right now, the product page is looking very basic. We only have the product details here, and then we have some product suggestions. Plus, it doesn't have any ongoing offers or discounts. Adding these things can turn your product page into a money-making machine, and I will exactly show you how to do it. But first, I want to make some little changes on this layout. For example, you can see that there are no call to actions here. So, I will go to the left menu and click on Add Block. Then I will add this Buy button option in this page. Next, I can also place this button right below the product description. Next, I will again click on this Add Block option, and this time, I will select this Quantity Selector. I will place this block right above the product description. Lastly, I will again click on this Add Block option, and then I will select this icon with Text Block. This is a great place to show the common offers of your store. On the left-hand side, you'll see the editing options. First, I want to change this heart icon, so I will click on this, and then select a different icon here. Next, I will change this heading text to limited edition, and I will repeat the same process to change these other icons too. All right, we've changed all three icons now. I can also change the layout of this section, but for now, I will keep it horizontal. And now this section is looking much better than before. You can also select this entire section and then go to this color scheme option on the left. From here, you'll be able to change the colors of this section. For my products, the gray background is looking good, so I will keep it this way. Next, if you want to delete any block from this page, you can simply select it and then click on this trash icon. Next up, we have these three collapsible rows. These can be used to highlight additional information about your products. I will use them to mention my product's materials and care instructions. And I'll remove the third one from the page. Okay, now I will click on this material option. Then, on the right side, you'll see this row content. Here, click on this little icon and then select the product option from the dropdown. Next, select the information that you want to show here. For now, I will select this fabric meta field. Then, I will also select the colors meta field for this section. Okay, now if you go to this collapsible row, you'll see that the materials of this product are showing here. Now let's say that you want to change these information. To do that, you need to go back to this product details and then go to the category meta fields option. These meta fields are created by Shopify AI and we are going to use these details on our Shopify store. Now you can simply make your changes here and these changes will be visible on your product page. For example, I will add these fabrics in this meta fields and then I will save these changes. Next, I will go to the Shopify editor and refresh this page. And as you can see, the changes we made are updated here. That's how meta fields are used in Shopify. If you want to learn more about meta fields, then I have created a separate video on this topic. Make sure to watch that video for more details. The link is given in the description. All right, I have also added the care instructions on this page. And with this step, our basic store structure is complete. Now, I want to add some advanced options in this page, which will not only increase the conversion rate, but will also increase the average order value. And to do that, I will install some third-party apps on this store. So, I will simply exit this editor now, and then I will click on this Apps option on the left menu. The first app that I want to install is a product review app. You see, product reviews are essential to build trust with your audience. Studies shows that adding social proof to your website can increase conversions by up to 15%, so it is really important to add them in the product page. Shopify have dozens of product review apps, but the one that I like is called Judge Me product review app. 
The best part is that this app comes up with a free plan, which basically provides everything you need. You can see the full pricing comparison here. Next, click on this View Demo Store button. This will take us to a demo store where you'll see a demo of this app. Simply click on any of these products. Here, you can see this star rating, and when you scroll down, you'll see these product reviews. These reviews are gathered by this product review app, and we are going to set up this on our store product page. So let's go back to the Shopify App Store and then click on this Install button. Again, click on this Install button to fully install this app. Next, you'll see this welcome message. Here, you need to select your preferred language and your store theme. Next, we need to enable this app on our store editor, so click on this Enable App button. This will take you to the Shopify editor. Here you need to make sure that this app is enabled and then hit the Save button on the top right. And then go back and click on Continue. Now we need to enable the Review widget, so click on this Enable widget option, which will again take you to the Shopify editor. The Review widget will get active on its own, and then you'll see these sample reviews here. Now we only need to hit the Save button and then come back to the dashboard. Click on this Continue button, and then click on this Enable Star Rating button. Once the Start Rating is added, I will simply select it and position it just before the product title, and then hit the Save button. Next, we need to set up our brand colors. You can select any color of your choice from here. And last but not least, you'll see this automatic review option. This app will send a review request to all the people who make any purchase from your store. You only need to select a time for that. I personally like the 14-day delay, so I will keep it that way, and then click on this Finish button. All right, we've successfully set up this app. Now we can successfully collect our customers' reviews and show them in our store. Next, I will click on this Explore Judge Me option. This is the dashboard of this app. Here, you'll see this pop-up, which will encourage you to try the premium plan of this app. You can try the premium plan for 15 days for absolutely free. But for now, I will continue with the free plan. Now, you can see the dashboard of this app and you will also see this advanced setup checklist. You can simply follow this checklist to set this app even further. Okay, now it's time to check if this app is working fine or not. So I will simply go to the Shopify store and then click on any product here. Here, when you scroll down, you'll see this customer review section. So I will click on this write a review button. First, I will give my ratings here. Next, I will simply enter some dummy text in these sections. I can also upload some photos or videos here. And then I will simply add my name and email and then click on this submit button. Now, it will take some moments to update the review. So, I will simply refresh this page and as you can see, the review is now available here, which means that the review app is working just fine. Okay, now let's say that I am not liking the color of this review in my page. So, I will simply go back to the dashboard and then I will go to general settings on the left. Here, I will click on Branding, and then I will change this color from yellow to green. And now if I go back and refresh this product page, you'll see that the color is now looking much more attractive. And with this step, our product review setup is complete. This was just a basic setup of this app, but there are a ton of things that you can do with this app. For example, if you go back to the dashboard and then go to this widget option, you'll see many other options. These are some advanced stuff. And for now, I will skip these parts, as the basic setup is complete. But if you want me to create a detailed tutorial on this app, then simply comment Tutorial in the comment section, and I will create a detailed tutorial on this product review app. Alright, now it's time for us to install another app, which will help us boost our store sales. So, I will click on Apps on the left, and then I will search for Product Bundles. There are over 2,000 Product Bundles app on Shopify right now, but only few of them are the best ones. For this store, I am going to use this Bundler Product Bundle app. This app also have a free plan which is good enough for anyone. And if you go to the pricing section, you'll see the different pricing plans. But if you are just starting out, the free plan will be good enough for you. You can also go to the demo store of this app to see what features it provides. Here, you can see this bulk discount option. This section is created using this Bundler app. Next, when you scroll down, you'll see this product bundle. This is also created using this product bundle app. 
And the best part is that both of these sections are available in the free plan of this app. Okay, now I will go back to the App Store and click on this Install button. Once the app is installed, you'll see this interface. Here, we need to select a plan. I will go with the free plan, but you can also try the paid plans for seven days for absolutely free. Next, on the bottom right, you'll see this video tutorial option. Here, you'll find a detailed tutorial on this app. You'll also find some FAQs on this left section, which is a great help for those who are just starting out with this app. Okay, now I will click on this Create Bundle option. This will give us some options. In the free plan, we have the Classic Bundle and Volume Discount options. The Classic Bundle will help us create product bundles, and the Volume Discount will provide discounts to those who will place multiple orders. So, first I will create a Volume Discount. Here, I can change this bundle name if I want to. Next, we have the title here, and then we also have a description. And when you scroll down a little, you'll find this Volume Discount section. This is where we can set up the discounts. I will set up the discount percentage to 5%, and then I can also set up a quantity here. And based on this quantity, the buyer will get a discount on their order. I will also create more volume discounts, where I will simply increase the product quantity and the discount percentage. In short, the more the customers buy at once, the more discount they'll achieve. Next, we need to make sure that this volume discount is applicable to every product here. You can also apply this volume discount to some specific products and then select your products from this section. But for now, I will simply enable this for all of my store products. And then I will save this by hitting the save button. Okay, now if I go to our online store and then go to products, you can see that this volume discount is visible here. You can see the title and description here. And then you can also see the discount percentage that we set up earlier. Now, to check whether this app is working or not, I will simply try to get this 10% discount offer. So, I will simply increase the product quantity to 5, and then click on Add to Cart button. And as soon as I did that, you can see this pop-up here that says that I have got a discount on my order. Now, if I click on this Yes option, it will simply take me to the checkout page, where you can see that I am getting 10% off on my order, which is $49 in this case. All right. Now I will come back to the Bundler app and then click on Create Bundle. This time I want to create a classic bundle, so I will select this option. Here you will again see the title and descriptions. You can simply remove these texts and add your own text here. The most important part of this is the discount section. Here is where you can set up the discount for your product bundles. For example, I can set up a percentage discount on my bundles, or I can also give a fixed amount of discount. And we also have these other options that you can consider based on your requirements. I personally recommend the percentage discount or the fixed amount discount for the classic bundles. Next, I will scroll down to the products section and here I can select the products that I want to sell in this classic bundle. I will select these three products from this list. Next, I can also select the quantity here. And then we have some advanced settings here, but most of them are available in the paid plan. Okay, now I will save this product bundle. Next, I will go to the product page to check if the bundle is working or not. I will scroll down a little, and as you can see, the product bundle is showing here. You can see the title and descriptions, and then all three products that we selected in this bundle. And when you click on this Add to Cart button, it will take me to the checkout page, where you can see that I've got a flat discount on this bundle. Now, I will go back to the dashboard and then confirm that the bundle is working on the store. All right, now we have all the features that we need on our product page. One important thing to note here is that the classic bundle will not be visible to every product. For example, if I click on this product, I will not find the classic bundle here. The classic bundle will only be visible along with those products that are added to that bundle. And don't worry, you can always go back to the Bundler app and create more bundles for specific products and collections. And you can also go to Settings and change the default colors of this app and add your own brand colors here. So, this is the final structure of our product page. This may seem simple, but it contains all the features that will boost the overall sales and conversion of your store. I hope that you found this video helpful. And by the way, if you are wondering about the homepage design of this store, then I have created a separate video on that, 
where I have shown in detail how you can create a premium quality Shopify store using all free resources. Click here to watch that video, and I will see you there.